you are not going to believe what I just finally watched. I just recently watched this one tonight. And my thoughts will come to you in just a few more moments after I do this special movie review. And today's special movie review, I will be reviewing the new MCU Spider-Man movie that just came out. And I'm just going to lower it down just a little bit. And that's what I'm going to be reviewing. It's the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, the, the story of Spider-Man Far From Home, I mean, No Way Home, takes place after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. With Spider-Man's identity now revealed, our friendly neighborhood rap slinger is unmaxed and no longer able to separate his normal life as Peter Parker from the high stakes of being a superhero. When Peter asks for help for Doctor Strange, the stakes become even dangerous, forcing him to discover what it me truly means to be a Spider-Man. And all the three Spider-Mans have to do whatever they can. Now guys, this is... This is not going to be a spoiler alert. Because you have to see it yourself. And I'm going to share my thoughts with you in just a few more moments. Now that's the basic plot of Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, how this movie played out, how this movie turned out. I will count on the count of three. One, two, three. Spider-Man No Way Home was Freaking fantastic and epic! I loved it! <laughs> it became my new favorite movie of 2021. No matter what. I enjoyed this more than Far From Home. Even though Far From Home is awesome. And Homecoming was definitely awesome too. Man. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield... And Tom Holland did a fantastic job. And John Watson did an excellent job with this movie too. Plus Zendaya, she once again did a very good job. And get this. I am moving Rafa Man to my second favorite movie of 2021. To my new favorite movie of 2021. Which is of course Spider-Man No Way Home. Yup, that's right. Spider-Man No Way Home is officially now my new favorite movie of 2021. And stay tuned for the mid credit scene because it's going to contain spoilers. And this felt like a live action Spider-Man into the Spider-Force. I cannot believe this. Even though this movie was supposed to come out this summer. But. Surprisingly it came out. This month. I'm like really. Really. This was like a great. Post COVID movie. To raise over a billion dollars. So good. Loved it. And overall. Spider-Man No Way Home gets a perfect 10 out of 10 in the heart. Or 5 out of 5 in the heart. I suggest to give this movie a watch. It's so good. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Epic. And mind-blowing too. Love that movie. Love it. Just like how much I love Puss in Boots and Hotel Transylvania Dream. Along with Rain Man, Toy Story, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. That this is definitely going on my new favorite movies list. I love it. <laughs> That's it for my movie review on Spider-Man No Way Home. And thanks for watching. This is Glenn Spenny. It's 2001. And see you later.